it's gonna be awkward. <laughs> I don't get it. You, you do the math. <laughs>we're back what's going on uh episode six doing? what are we in episode six? yeah it's episode six dude y'all are talking prematurely episode, right there, episode yeah. six our guest dude what's up, what's shout up, out to our guest yeah. dude introduce them we got jerry rodriguez gerardo or no. gerardo right get out of them God, dude, i can't <laughs> yeah, say jerry, it like that jerry, jerry's cool. well no jerry's no cool. he, he's saying it sounds yeah. say it again get out of them See, that's not uh, with an H too. Yeah, is how he's pronouncing it. Yeah. It's not how it's spelled, but. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel you. Gerardo Rodriguez. <laughs> oh yeah, that's nice, nice. nice. Yeah, dude. Bro, All right, that. so all the lady <laughs> listeners are now inside. <laughs> <laughs> already <laughs> slid in the DM. Yeah. No, they're all oh, hot and bothered. Yeah. What, what about got, you, Tito? Yeah, we got Tito Madrigal. Oh, what's up, guys? Say your name all sexy. Arturo Madrigal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah. And he changed it too. Like we yeah. said, Tito, and he, he said Arturo. One. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Damn, bro. <laughs> Shit. That was fine. Well, oh, we're, we're excited to have you guys. We're super appreciative. Two appreciate more of our favorite people. Yes. Uh, without a doubt, and this is our this is our first ever champion too that we got in the building. Yes, sir. Oh, Frankie's a champ too. He's a champ, yeah. but oh, he's yeah, people's Frank's champ. A champ too. Oh. No, no, no. Frank was a champ in yeah. uh, Co- uh, Coalition well, like, Combat. And, uh, no, no, no I'm saying current too. though, like current bell holder. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah current yeah, bell yeah, holder. Yeah. 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 I, just, I but, just got mine. Yeah, dude, you are coming hot off of a an ass whoop, but you <laughs> whooped that dude's ass. A few, dude. I mean, you've this been doing But this work. last one was was intense, Yeah, well, and I was scared for the guy. We were watching it. You were you were filming it on your live feed, dude, and you were screaming and shit. It was a good ass you know, it was it was crazy, right? You know, like I've I've known Jerry, you know, as long as I've been training out fight ready. So, mm. you know, like I've been how many like of your corners? Um, About like a couple. Oh, right? corner me? Yeah, it's been like three, three. Yeah, so three and then just also seeing him um, get ready for the camps and and things like that, like um, getting him like helping him out. It was just an awesome achievement. My closer. Um, so. Yeah, dude, that's cool. Yeah, because I, I remember meeting both of you guys kind of around the same time because that's when I was training the most at Fight Ready. Mm-hmm. And were, were you fighting yet at that point? When did you start going? We're probably looking at, like, I first started there 2014, maybe? Um, so you 2015? Guys, I started going, like, 2016, bro. Like, 2015, actually. Yeah, but oh, yeah, first so you guys first started. 2016. Okay. So. Yeah, so yeah. you got there before, probably before I did. Oh, okay. I know this one was there before I was. Yeah, yeah, I, I remember yeah. I remember when you, when you first, first started coming there. in. Yeah. yeah, dude, that's insane because you've come such a long way in such a short amount of time. That's fucking nuts. Because yeah. 2016, you hadn't yeah. even had a fight yet. That was my well, I had a boxing fight. My first fight, as like as far as competitively, you know what I mean, okay. was boxing. But I started training when I was little. I was like eight, like nine. About nine or ten, my cousin was pro. She would take me to the gym with her. Oh damn! But um, but I never really competed. I always did other sports. You know, I played football, played basketball, soccer, baseball. Where'd you grow up around here? In Chandler. Chandler? Yeah, Chandler. A little bit in Ahwatukee. It was like four years, but Chandler. Where'd you go to high school at? Hamilton. Nice. Oh really? Damn. I, we were supposed to go to Hamilton, I think, right? For yeah, a minute. We told everyone. Uh... We got. Yeah. You, can you tell them to just not even come in? Tell yeah. them to come back later. Right. Nope. No. I don't know. Just we'll just edit this. This is part of the awkwardness. Yeah, it's all good. Awkward MMA, right? Can they, can they come back? Otro tiempo, lo siento. <laughs> We're gonna uh, do with that Tyson Fury thing. I don't know if I, I said that. that open where, uh, yeah, it's yeah, all yeah, where you yeah, roll yeah, your yeah. arms backwards and it shows Tyson <laughs> Fury and yeah. all the get up. <laughs> Um, dude, oh, yeah, that, that was so funny. Tyson, shout out to Tyson, so Jerry. Um, how's my Spanish right there? Was that good? Um, yeah, it was all right. All right. Otro tiempo, Houston. Yeah, that's what you said. Lo right? siento. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Did I say te amo? I don't think so. I, I meant to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so I thought, I guess, yeah, it counts sure, yeah, when yeah, they're fucking gone. That, yeah. <laughs> dude. Oh, man. That would have been a sure. nice... No, maybe I'll leave her a note and say, lo siento. Uh, lo siento. How do you say it again? Te amo? No, again. Otra vez? Oh, yeah. Otra vez. Yeah. 
I'm going to say, lo siento otra vez, uh, te amo. Nice. Or should I say, te quiero? Te quiero. Te quiero. Te quiero. Yeah, te quiero is better. Te, te quiero. quiero. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. All right. Uh, te quiero. And it sounds like Mike Anthony. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Enrique Iglesias, dog. Enrique Iglesias. <laughs> What is that no, song no, no. he's got? That uh, it's oh, hero, hero, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I could be your hero. Baby. Oh no, I was thinking of uh, Enrique Iglesias. What was that? He that, had that... that was the song. Well, that's... that's one of his songs. Really? Yeah. I was thinking of a different one, but um... oh, that was the... that's a good one, though. Yeah. <laughs> I, uh, I don't listen to too much to him. Oh, uh, that's good. Dude. <laughs> yeah. So, so what's your your career been like i mean you were you first started out with the boxing thing yeah uh when did it kind of transform into more muay thai and just mixing things up when i uh when i started going there bro to fight ready because mm. um i had my boxing fight but like i don't know because i never i never really boxing was just kind of like something i did to stay in shape you know what i mean yeah. in between other sports in between seasons right so then i boxed a little bit more. I took a little bit more. Like, I would go more, and then my coach wanted me to fight. So I was like, yeah, you know, I'll fight. And took my first fight, and it didn't go good. I lost. It was uh, oh, really? amateur boxing. Yeah. It was Golden Gloves 2013. Okay. My girl was pregnant, bro. And, you know, like, I didn't know how to manage. How old were you? Know you? I, mean? I was 18. Damn. Damn. Yeah, bro. Or 19. 19. Yeah, 19. Dang. So you so, were having to, like, figure shit out, like, yeah, yeah, quick. Yeah. So when that Damn. happened, did that, like... That loss, did that just light a fire? Uh, not really, bro. Honestly. <laughs> no, because I... Uh, <laughs> I'm honest about it. He's honest. Yeah, no, yeah. dude. Because, like, I kind of just, like, I took the L, bro, and I was like, you know, it is what it is. And I kind of kept training, but then I had my I had my baby. I had my son. That was in March, and I had my son in May. So it's kind of like trying to manage working, trying to manage being a dad at fucking 19 years old, Damn. trying to manage being with the girl. Right. And I was working construction, dog. So, like, going at 6 in the morning, you'll know when the fuck you're getting off. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah dude. And then yeah. trying to go to training, bro. It's, like, it's hard. You don't know how to. Especially out here in the heat. It drains. Yeah, yeah. You got to go to training fucking probably yeah. drained. So, you know, I'll... I don't know how to. I don't know everything that it takes, you know what I mean, to actually fight, to actually right. compete. How long I mean? was it before you fought again after that? Um, When I had my first Muay Thai fight, it was March of 2016. So... Three years later, you know? Damn. Yeah. When and, did I, you I was, and I did it on and off in like those three years, you know? Yeah. But, um. Were yeah. you cornering the whole time, Hector? No. No, nah, he I, wasn't I, there. My first fight, um. You weren't there. Everybody fought, That's dude. why. Nah, it's because <laughs> everybody fought like, I think it was like maybe the month before. Hector, remember, you guys all fought. Yeah. Oh, really? yeah, UG. Hector. I remember when yeah, you guys yeah. did that. Everybody fought, bro. And I, I got matched up, bro, but I was hella sick, dude. And I couldn't. I didn't oh, fight, bro. Fuck, I'm remembering yeah. that, bro. Dude, I, I remember fight. you outside doing us too. rounds. Yeah. yeah. I remember I asked you, I was like, hey, will you like help me with like, uh, like, will you give me like a boxing round? And then that like <laughs> two weeks before or something. <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah. It was, those were good times though, man. Yeah. I'd I wish I could have been around for that, dude. Yeah. I wish I could have been around those times. Yeah, dude. You would have had a good time because it was, uh, I mean, it's fun now too. Yeah, it, but is. Like, it is for sure. That was when Benny was the coach. Yeah, yeah Benny. Yeah. Benny, Benny was supposed to corner me. He wasn't there either, Doug. Really? <laughs> yeah. Who oh, was it? Like yeah. it was Russell. Dude. It was Russell. Russell. That guy, dude. That guy yeah. was. That guy was one of the coolest Muay Thai coaches. Shout out to him. Shout He's out to cool, Russell. Bro. He's hella cool. Yeah. Derek. And actually, it's weird, bro. It's a small fucking world because my cousin, he did Muay Thai. It was a few years ago, and he knows Russell, bro. He, like, oh, he really? trained with Russell all the time, and Russell cornered me in my first fight, and I didn't yeah. even fucking know that at the time. You know what I mean? That's really, so that's cool, cool. Yeah, I bet it's a real small world. Uh, like the 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 more that you get into it, yeah. you know. Yeah, everybody. It's like, it's it's a community. You know, what you I mean? gotta have for a, sure. It's cool. It's cool. I like it. How important is that, like, for you to to have a like a good relate? I'm sorry, I hog on the question, but you're good. How how important is it to have that like a good relationship with the, all the people in the community? Because like you never know when yeah. when you're gonna be teammates. Not or when burning you're gonna... bridges. Yeah, 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 exactly. No, I mean. One of the dudes that I fought, Yik Yak, I fought him, bro, and now I train with him every fucking every Friday, bro. We go spar with them, you know. So yeah. it's like, I don't know. I try it's to a just dope stay nickname, humble. By the way, yeah, Yik Yak. Yik Yak. <laughs> Dude, his real name? No, that's not his real name. It's his, not. His real name oh. is crazy, bro. Oh, okay. he's like I don't know what he is. It's like Somalian or something like that. Oh, okay. Yeah. Somalian, dude. That's but cool. Yik Yak. That's my boy. Shout out to Yik Yak. Uh, <laughs> shout out to Yik Yak. Shout out Yik Yak. 
Yeah, but one thing I was no, going to ask. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was uh, how? What is it like now? Like, have you found a way to balance everything, or is that still just a grind and a struggle? Or, I mean, I did. I figured it out. Yeah, but then I got a new baby. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> so it starts so I'm, over. So I'm yeah. figuring it out. I'm figuring it out. You know, it's. I mean, that's what happened yesterday. I told you guys I was. You guys know where Tolleson is? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Tolleson's almost in fucking California, bro. Yeah, <laughs> it's out there. I was. That's where my. A second baby mama lives. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Know, twice the drama. Yeah. No, I'm just kidding. It's all good. It's all good. No, I'm just kidding. It's all good. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, but that's where they live. So I was over there. I couldn't make it like back in time. Because I got to take dude. care of my other kid. You know, right, I got to right. make sure he gets to sleep early and I got to drop him off at school. Dude, Damn. family comes yeah. first. Yeah. I mean, that's like, you know, our, our dad was, was always there for us, you know, yeah. so... We we can appreciate any father that's trying to be there for yeah. their son or yeah. daughter. I mean, what do you got? Two boys? Yeah, a boy and a girl. Oh, oh boy yeah. and a girl. Boy yeah, girl. Lit, dude. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah, you get you got a whole. You got a little. Who's older? The boy. Oh, yeah, that's, the boy. Have you started yeah. training him yet? Have you started getting yeah. him into? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, he's he's still little. You know what I mean? So you right. can't be. I feel like I can't be hard on him the way that that other dads are hard on him. You know. I don't want to be one of those like how Anthony's hard. Yeah, on the I mean not to say that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, nah. Bro, I hear him yelling at film, some, bro. Yeah, I oh, hear him yelling yeah. like hear him yelling like, dude, like what's going on? Here? <laughs> what is that uh, Marines just, practice? Yeah, <laughs> like there's nothing wrong with that, you know. But I feel like for my kid, that's not gonna work. And yeah. for me, I'm not that dad. You know what I mean? Right. So I know like You're more chill, know, let him find yeah, it, yeah, kind yeah. of thing. Yeah, sure. like I want him to have fun with it. You know, I don't want him to, and I want him to enjoy being a kid. So if he likes it, I'll take him and stuff. And he does like it, so I take him with me, but he gets frustrated, too. Mm. But, like, you know. That's part yeah, of it, dude. That's yeah. part of, like, I think enjoying something is just getting frustrated and then overcoming it. Yeah. And then you feel that joy. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Not only that, but, like, finding it yourself, you know what I mean? Kind of like what he said. Yeah. Like right. Letting his son, you know, appreciate it on his own instead of having someone, like, Force this is it. what you have to do because I do it. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, exactly. Yeah, whatever he wants to do, bro, you can do, you know? I tell him that all the time, shit. Sure. But that's the right. But I, I want him to be the best at it. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, exactly. That's I tell him, do whatever you want to do, but you're gonna be the best at it. For sure. So I, I try mean, and just show him more like the like the determination, the hard work, like putting in the the sacrifice. You know what I mean? I try yeah. and teach him that right now at this age. Once he's getting a little bit older, then I'll be a little bit more hard on him and stuff. You know? I think that's the way to do it yeah. for sure. Yeah, let him be a kid for a little bit. Yeah, hundred percent. Because what he's because they grow up quick. Yeah, he's already six. You know what I mean? Dang, oh, yeah. dude. So yeah, he's. That's about the time I started to get into sports. Yeah, yeah that's that age yeah. for sure. Yeah, yeah. He told me just the other day he wanted to do soccer. I was like, all right, you can do that. <laughs> yeah, because you don't want him getting burned out ever either. Yeah, exactly. just say fuck it. I don't want to do anything. Right. So like, yeah, yeah, that makes sense. But it's hard to balance all that, bro. Training now with two kids, working, and trying to be a freaking champ. You know? Yeah, man. Sure. Continue to be champ, dude. Hey, but you're oh, doing man. it though. At least, I mean, you know, at yeah, least you're, you know, you're whooping going. ass. And I mean, we see you at the gym, and I mean, it's it's always nothing but ass whooping punches. Dude. <laughs> <I was> always, <laughs> dude, he used to scare the shit out of me in the gym, dude. Because there's like there'd be some days you wouldn't even do a fucking class. You would just be jump roping for thirty minutes yeah. with what are you doing? That cardio, bro. It's and that then, cardio. <laughs> I and then he'd be hitting the bag. Too. Try sparring with the guy. This, I, dude, like, <laughs> he looks at me, I'm like, fuck. <laughs> I always <laughs> ducked him, bro. Yeah. I'm, like, I'm just going to go with Big Mike, dude. I need to beat the big guys. Yeah. <laughs> if you remember that. Yeah, I just want, I want everybody's hardest round to be with me. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. It so is. I want to push people. I want, <laughs> I want everybody to get better. So I try and push them. And like, I want people to get better. You know what I mean? Yeah. I want to help however I can help. 100%. Like we fight, you know? So. If we're fighting, I'm gonna fight, and you're gonna get better. You're gonna learn something. You know what I mean? Right. I, I almost yeah. feel like it's kind of going with like, like your your big brother. Have you ever like, you know what I mean? That like, yeah, I've, tough brother. I've done like, it. I've done it. Like, my whole uh, life. I mean, I'm I'm not that big, but I'm tough. Yeah. I'm older. Like he'll tell you, like I'll be like moving, like no, stand right in front of me, like yeah. fuck, dude, I don't want to. <laughs> like I'm I need to be moving around. Right like I got hit with like seven right hands. He's like, it's good for you. And I'll it's like, good for you. I'll like, you the flying knee. Yeah. <laughs> builds character. Yeah, it builds character. Well, like, I guess so. <laughs> God. So when did you get into uh you? So you uh you do some mitt holding. You do some strength and conditioning stuff with him. 
what's it like? How, how'd you even get into that? Is that what you like um, to do or? So like, I've always had an interest with it. Like for me, like the first gym I started, um, they were kind of like understaffed. It was this uh, place called Pink Creation. And they asked okay. me like, Hey, do you want to start like teaching the kids class? So I thought like it was super cool. And I like started like doing it. And as I got like a little better with like the mitt holding, I started doing it with like some of the guys. Um, and then I came to fight ready and Benny, like right off the bat, um, I did his cardio kickboxing. Cause that's like the first class they like put you right. in, you know, especially if they're new and you don't really have much striking experience. And first person that I partnered up with was uh Tracy Cortez. Oh, shit. So like, you know what I mean? You almost kind of have to like, and I've seen her fight before and she was real cool. Uh, her and her brother were like super cool. And they like, she was just teaching me like, no, you have to do it this way. And, and Benny as well. So like, he'd always just make me go with either, like, you know, uh, if there was, like, a pro fighter in there, he'd make me go with him. And just, like, I started kind of getting more confident in that. And I think um, the fight, his first fight for Rise of Prospect, um, like, either I asked him if he needed help with or anything, or he asked me, I, I forgot which one. And I would always, like, try to help Jerry as much as possible because, like I said, like, that was one of my first, like, training partners, you know? Yeah. And he's helped me a lot in striking. So, like, since I know how to hold pads well enough, I was like, you know, anything I can do to help this guy. And strength and conditioning, I mean, that's something I've always been interested in. You know, I, sure. I worked with uh, Charlie Swanson a lot. A uh, shout out to him if, if he watches this. Um, he was one of my first strength and conditioning. I don't think he does. Maybe because you share us all the yeah. time. Yeah. So yeah. Who knows? Maybe he'll watch it because of you. Heck. Yeah. Just keep so, sharing, oh, dude. Yeah. yeah. I, I was there to support, right? um just seeing how that and then how you know my sister and then also like other guys just teaching me kind of found i would say like something that like hope i you know hopefully it works and hopefully he feels like stronger doing it and just like it's it's really just simple it's like sprints and you know one hard round of sprints and then one hard round of like slowing down your heart mm -hmm. rate and then another round which i feel kind of imitates what a fight is right it's one hard push and then not so hard and then right. one another hard push and then you know what I mean? Yeah, and that that hard accelerate, decelerate kind of. Right. Yeah, yeah. Trying so, to mimic that, and then you add that with your six hours of cardio that you're doing. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that is the cardio, bro. Yeah. <laughs> no, I um, no, I, just, I mean, just everything that you do in other sports, you know, track. I feel like because I do mm. track too, I feel like all those all those workouts they help a lot, man. All right. So you pretty yeah. much just implement. And you take everything from all the different all sports these, you did. Yeah. And you're just like, all right, I'm gonna put it all together into yeah. one master plan for what I'm trying to do. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I think that when you get that, when you've got that base, you know, you can yeah. really figure out like for yourself as you get, especially as you get older too, like, you know, you can figure out what works, what doesn't work. And you can go back on your, like your past experiences and all these other uh, avenues, you know, whether it be track and field or football or whatever, yeah. you know, it's a, uh, that's a, that's a, a cool thing about fighting, I think, actually, too, <clears throat> that's so unique because not many people start out fighting. You know, they start out playing right. all these other sports, yeah. and then by the time they're 17, 18, 19, that's when they're starting to train and stuff like that. Yeah. Jose Except Aldo played soccer. He's a soccer yeah. player. Yeah. Like, there was a couple guys, a couple professional, like, boxers, too. Mm -hmm. Sergio, Sergio started, Martinez. Sergio Martinez. Yeah. Uh, He's a cyclist, was, bro. Um, And, like, Dang. you can tell how well it transitions, like, Jose Aldo with those kicks. Dude, it's just yeah. some dudes are some dudes are some dudes are fighters and they do and they're and they do sports, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yep. That's yeah. I feel like that's how it was for me when I was a kid. Cause I didn't have nobody like telling me fight, fight, fight. Right. Yeah. I mean, at least not competitively. Right. Because sure. I would fight, <laughs> yeah. bro. Yeah. Yeah. But, but me not, I, would, I back, didn't compete. Yeah, after school. yeah, I didn't compete, bro. There's but. no money, no, no yeah. record. Yeah. Yeah. Whoop them after school to show them you've got class. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I feel like I was I feel like that's one thing that happened with me. I was a fighter and I was blessed with athletic abilities. You know what I mean? Right. And I did all these sports and now I'm I'm getting I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing. I think yeah. it's perfect because yeah. not to cut you off, no, but you're like good. fighting is so many different athletic elements yeah. where there's like all types of movements exactly yeah. to where like all the jumping you have to do in basketball can help translate to that because you have to explode into a right. jab or a flying knee or fucking whatever so i mean all those different sports and soccer with the kicking and the hips and 
at hockey, dude, like with the fighting. Hey, skating and though. balancing. Yeah. No, but balancing, balancing. Yeah, balance. skating because the yeah. angles. Yeah, the forty-five angles. Yeah. Um, well, I was gonna ask though. It was, did you guys get in a lot of fights like growing up in school, like middle school? I was kind of a pussy. There's no way you did. No, I was just too nice. Yeah, you were not a pussy. He's not a pussy. Did you get bullied or? Uh, you kind of. I mean, I got bullied. You really? Because I didn't speak no English. Really? <laughs> no, but, yeah, really? I started. How long did you not speak English for? Uh, I started. Well, my mom figured I'll learn English in school. You know what I mean? Okay. So yeah. She, really? Yeah. So she like really instilled Spanish. And I mean, my mom's from. My mom was born in Mexico. Born and raised in Mexico. My dad born and raised in Mexico. You know what I mean? So, so you first were, generation. You oh, were really? yeah, yeah, okay. So you're given like basically the same immigrant mentality. Like as if yeah. you guys came. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Immigrant mentality. <laughs> Cock suckers. Yeah. <laughs> 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 you guys, uh, it was like you guys were all here together. I mean, that's kind of cool though. I mean, yeah. um, haven't learned. How long did it take you to learn? Uh, I think by like second, third grade, I was speaking English. You know yeah. I mean? But like by yeah, probably second, but kindergarten and first grade. Actually, that's why my mom told my cousin um, to start taking me to the gym because motherfuckers like you don't. I don't know what you're saying, <laughs> Damn. but I know you're making fun of me. You know what yeah. I mean? Ah, oh, but man. so Dude, you know, and then you're sad. kindergarten, first grade, and you're just trying to be. You're starting school. You yeah, know yeah, I mean? yeah, yeah. And like I think about it now, dude. Like if and my son go started to the gym, dude. You <laughs> yeah, my mom was like, if you're gonna be fighting at school, then. Go to the boxing gym with your cousins, shit. Fight there. Yeah. And I went and I, you know, started boxing. It's, that's the greatest, yeah. dude. That is one of the good. That's the real root of where it all started. Yeah. Dude. You yeah. Six year old ass going into the gym, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> training out of whoop ass, dude. That's yeah. so good. And fighting is like an international language, right? It really yeah, is. Like, yeah. Exactly. If you don't know how to, you know, speak English or speak Spanish or vice versa, there are a ton of trainers uh, that don't know how to, like, communicate, like, with words, but they'll just like one, two, and they'll know yeah. exactly like Gennady Golovkin's trainer. Mm -hmm. You know how to speak uh, the Borat language. I don't know what he's speaking. <laughs> the Borat <laughs> language? <laughs> Kazakhstan. Uh, Kazakhstan uh, <laughs> and, um, and he's like, he like, they work, <laughs> they work so well together. You know what I mean? So. Yeah, dude, that is crazy. Well, I mean, yeah, like a hook uh, is a hook in every, right. in yeah. every language. Well, that's yeah. the thing with mitts, too. It's like you get to a certain point where you know if, you know, if I'm going to throw this up, it's a jab. So yeah, I'm you see it, bro, here. and you react, you know what I mean? Yeah. After a little bit, you see the punch. Like, yeah, you, the way they hold it, you know how to throw. You probably could have headphones on and, and just yeah. by yeah. seeing the angles, you looks. know exactly. Yeah. And just doing checks and <clears throat> blocks, yeah. yeah. Or what feels right, you know what I mean? What feels right to you, like... Is what's gonna what feels right to throw is what's gonna feel right for the trainer to th like to hold right you know I mean? yeah yeah because you kind of like already you guys already clicked right yeah. but you got so you got into some scraps that going oh yeah for the youth. yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> definitely bro <laughs> where, I always like where was like the highest highest volume when was your highest activity like, would you say probably like elementary or middle no middle school middle yeah, school middle school. <laughs> middle school yeah that's when that's the age bro dude yeah. those were like i remember back in my middle school days and those were some of the best fights like, yeah i remember dude ever that's because that's when everybody's pissed any. off bro that's when everybody's <laughs> got the testosterone yeah. Shit, bro. Dude, yeah and they're always over like a girl you yeah. know or like but or we like had gangs bro we had yeah. gangs, yeah. Shit, dude where, where did you go to middle yeah. school uh, Bogle, it's in Chandler. Okay, yeah, okay. And, it's, and it's nothing crazy, you know. What I mean, it's Chandler, bro. It's yeah, it's not crazy, yeah, but to, you know, you I got your bite size, you know, everybody, and you know, everybody likes to just gang up, you know. Yeah, what I mean? exactly. Yeah. A gang is a gang, you know. Yeah, that's yeah. True. exactly. <laughs> that's true. Yeah, we had we had some kids, dude. I went to KMS, which is in Kyrene. Yeah, yeah. And there were like some real, real gang members. Well, Ky yeah, Kyrene, you got um like South Phoenix. Some of the people from yeah, South yeah, Phoenix will go to uh, and Mar like, Maricopa, and Maricopa and too. Yeah, yeah. Um, but like a lot, I love a lot of the people still. You know, like yeah. friends on Facebook with yeah. them, and I see it. <laughs> shit. Yeah, but Sorry then the also high school back then. Yeah. High school too, bro. High school, we had um my friend Joe. He had he had like a horse property, and we would do fight nights, bro. Oh, 
Oh, oh shit! Really? <laughs> It'd be yeah, like it a fight uh, club. It was not really fight club, bro, but like it was just Can't fight nights, like <laughs> <laughs> for real, exactly. It Jerry, was just Jerry's just like a Mexican four... Tyler Durden, dude. <laughs> <laughs> it was like three, four different schools, bro, and Fuck. we'd go over to Joe's house or uh, sometimes the homie Ron. Just different, you know, wherever house was open or wherever we could go. Joe's parents were real cool; they would let us go over there, Damn. and we would just box. You know what I mean? Just that would be out with a beer. Yeah. Like, yeah, the beer. Like, damn, these We don't need to date. order the paper, view. Yeah. We got it right on the back. <laughs> it was cool. One of my uh one of my friends, Max, he fights, he does Muay Thai too. He like he would go too. That dude's badass. Yeah. Damn. Max He's is bad. clean. Yeah. Really? Really? Hey, he really would go is. too, bro. It's, it was it was fun. But middle school and high school, bro. Damn. We were just and yeah. then it became serious. Yeah. And then, yeah, and then bro, you're think, chasing a job. But like, really, that didn't really happen as far as like me trying to really take it serious to like 2017, bro. Oh, really? Yeah. One of my, uh, one of my, well, not one of my best friends. It's like my best, like my best friend in high school. It was a girl. This girl, Bobby. She passed away in 2017, and that's. Oh, damn. And after, yeah, after that, it's kind of like, like I started like thinking more about what I'm gonna do. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah she was dude she was a great person bro like really 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 good person everybody loved her bro nobody had nothing bad to say about her she had uh ep- epilepsy mm. oh, and damn. she um she had a seizure bro and she fell and she hit her head you know what <sighs> i mean so it's like Fuck, that's just something rough. something crazy you know what i mean yeah, that'll give you that motivation to be like oh shit dude i'm here i'm here for a reason i yeah. need to do what yeah. i need to be doing exactly bro yeah, I mean, when you when you've got stuff like that, you can't, you don't have an excuse. You know, I mean, we talk about it on this show a lot, where people have events that happen. It's like, yeah, I can't, I can't let this person down because of what they've been through or yeah. what you know. They, I, I think that's a very motivational thing for people to have. Yeah, and but, I mean, also just going to the gym, bro, and you know, people start looking, and then people start like people start believing in you. And then, like, your coaches start telling you stuff, you know? Yeah. They start, like, giving you that idea. Yeah, right. And then after a little bit, you start fighting. And then you kind of start believing in you, know what I mean? Like, oh, maybe I can yeah. do this, you know? Maybe I can go pro. Maybe maybe I can get this belt. And then you fucking put in the work, bro. And yeah. You get, what you, you get what you work for, you know what I mean? Yes. Yeah. Is that Muay Thai so, for you? Is it? Is that, uh, are you looking to ever get back into boxing? Or are you just I looking wanted, to? I really want to, I wish... Dude, it's just time, bro. I don't have enough time, bro. <laughs> I tell them all the I time. I wish dude. I could. I wish I could do boxing, Muay Thai, kickboxing, and MMA, bro. You know what I mean? Like, uh, one FC should be calling you. Then. Yeah, exactly, yeah. bro. That, well, I've, that's my highlights, bro. That's what I watch. Like any fights that I watch, it's usually one FC or like Muay Thai stuff like they that. They got a good show. Yeah, yeah, they put out a they really are. good product. Yeah. They're really good. I think yeah. they're gonna start crossing over to the stage soon too. That's what yeah, I heard. I'm sure they will. They got a they got a cool brand that's I mean it's 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 an entertaining thing to watch because they have all the different ways of fighting that could all theoretically be on the same card. I think that is a very cool thing. All right, we got to do a quick uh, camera break and uh, we'll be back. We're back. Do that movie magic. Uh, turns out, and you know what? We actually went to get an answer from pros, mm. uh, Best Buy. Not shit we can do about it. Yeah, with the camera. camera the camera record, record uh, oh, reset yeah. thing. I, I like the government. I like to throw every guest off with like talking about that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's so cool. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, talking about the movie something magic. Oh, yeah, huh? so we're well, going to make we, this about us the, now. The reason why <laughs> Thanks, guys. No, the reason why we have to take a break is because the the way that the government, I guess, it's, uh, uh they have a check and a savings. Is they got checking and savings and and it comes out of their checking account for these types of cameras, savings for that type of camera. That's why savings didn't go forever. This one, 30 minute mark. The way that done. it's set up, it can't cut Man, you off. There's just some minutes. damn cameras, bro. That's so you got to transfer. Yeah, you got to transfer the data from one to the other. <laughs> this whole thing. <laughs> anyways. <laughs> anyways. So no, I don't dude, remember where, where we where, left where off. Where did struggle. we leave off? Um, well, you've been, uh, you were telling us that you wanted to do everything. We were talking about 1FC. Oh, That's what yeah, we were talking yeah, about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You want to do everything. No, I mean, I'd like to, but, you know, I, I know that shit would be hard. So. Well, everything I mean, is hard, eventually, dude. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It'd be challenging, you know? But, um, I mean, eventually, my but, like, I feel like kickboxing and Muay Thai is where I'm really going to 
do the best. You know what I mean? Really? Yeah. 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 And MMA, I'll probably that, that'll be fun. You know? Yeah. yeah. I'll probably have some cool knockouts in MMA. Exactly. That should well, especially be fun. being around it too for all these years. Like yeah. even though you're mainly training, like do you train Stand any up. grappling at all? Or I, I mean, I do, but not as much. And if I got a fight coming up, I usually focus on that. You know? What okay. I mean? Yeah. I'll, I'll focus on the stand up, but I know I need to do it. So yeah, it's just about same thing bro time management being able to do a schedule you know what i mean when right. i got a i feel like maybe after these next cuz i got two two muay thai fights coming up two that are planned so after these i'm kind of thinking i'll focus a little bit more on like wrestling especially wrestling bro i like wrestling really yeah and um jiu jitsu of course you know yeah. and doing mma hopefully next year yeah and you can help with that cuz you got you uh You've been doing jits for even longer than you've been yeah. doing striking, right? Yeah, yeah, that's kind of like my bread and butter. I I feel like really comfortable on the ground. Mm. And, you know what I mean? Um, <laughs> like at somewhere, like if I see the way I see it, like if I see a purple belt, brown belt, like I always want to test myself with those guys. Yeah. I mean, like there's this new uh, black belt who helps um, sometimes with like Paris and uh, Heath, mm -hmm. and he'll do the classes with us, and I'll like see him and I'm. Like I asked Paris, I was like, "Hey, can we go with that guy?" And they're like, because you know, there's there's a spec you don't ever really know. Like, you know, a black belt, you never really ask to roll and shit. Like, they, but Paris is like, "Yeah, I think." And I asked him, and granted, I got molly whopped, but I was like, it's just that experience <laughs> of seeing like how well you know, my skills are, and you know what I mean. I I feel like I have great like top pressure. Like I'm one of the only guys that doesn't come from a wrestling background that has like wrestling um type experience, and that's. Cause I came from uh, a submission like grappling, like when I first started off. Cause I I never did wrestling, um, in high school. Like I did it in like junior high, and I was trash. And, like, <laughs> yeah, I was I was straight <laughs> trash. Like, and it clicked when I started like grappling. Cause mm. I grappled with a bunch of guys that were like in ASU and all that stuff, and that's where I developed like a really mean sprawl. Like, um, if I were to, like to my horn, horn, I would say like my sprawl and like my top pressure are like one of best thing is like it's gonna be super hard to take me down and like if i'm able to get you down i'm gonna keep you there and i'm gonna like work and work and work and i for a big kid like i transition really well mm. you know what i mean like i can i'm very like agile yeah, um, tito's athletic bro yeah you got the tree trunk fucking yeah. legs yeah, dude, you got that yeah. <laughs> peanut butter dude and it's crazy <laughs> like <laughs> When I was a kid, my um, my dad took me to because I walked on my tippy toes, which I'm sure if people have, like seen me, they see me walk that. And like my dad would always like, he like he he didn't know like why I would do that, so he'd take me like foot like foot doctors and specialists. And um, oddly enough, there was like a bodybuilder that we went to who was like a doctor, yeah. and he just looked at my foot and like just straight up said. Fuck it, let him do it. Let's see, <laughs> see, see how big his legs get, and like my dad's like, "Wait, what?" He's all, "Yeah, I mean, like, no, it's not gonna." If there's no fit. health concerns. Yeah, concern, he's like, "There's no it. health concern." He's just that's gonna how I walk. That's how I walk. <laughs> yeah, he's like, he's just gonna have super massive legs. Like people are gonna want his legs. Like he's all, he he looked at his calves. He's all. I'm a bodybuilder. He's like, I have tiny calves. That's like the hardest thing. <laughs> that's the hardest muscle to like get up and yeah. But and I've seen like in my footwork when I like kind of move around and box like. It's 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 helped, you know. I, I naturally have a balance, and I feel yeah. I have r like really good movement, and it's transitioned well. You know what I mean? Just having, yeah, just being able to bounce around and, yeah. and have that that um, because they're always telling you to be I'm on, not, not stuck on in the heels. mud. Yeah, no, you're not. <laughs> <laughs> although you, although your comments are stoke in the mood, so yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, it's fucking nuts, but uh, yeah, because yeah. I remember you used to walk around the gym like that, and then yeah. Dude, it was the funniest thing when you first walk in because your chest is up too, yeah. bro. And you're it's, just tiptoeing through. That like smile. Yeah, yeah, the giant smile. And he's like waving, hey, buddy. Yeah. Hi. What's yeah. up, man? <laughs> yeah. But no, back to the thing. I, I would definitely help Jerry like if he if he's fighting like a grappler. And you know what I mean? We come from a gym of mainly like yeah, wrestler people dudes. think I can't wrestle at all, bro. He's, I, could, I mean, I could do a little something. something. Like when <laughs> yeah. I just, dude, grapple. I don't got, I, I don't got the patience for, uh, for jujitsu, bro. Like, I get in triangle, bro. I want to start throwing punches. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. so I'm so like, glad he hasn't when we grappled. Like, Fuck it, bro. Like, let me go. Yeah. <laughs> let me go. Yeah. But, uh, Pab, start again. Yeah, yeah, but I feel like MMA, I mean, I'll, I'll do all right, too. So. Yeah. Every fight starts on the feet. Yeah, exactly. And you it's super hard to take, take him down. Jerry's very, 
like balanced and like i said when he's when we do grapple and like you know they're on the ground he, he like most people like flip out right away you know like they like yeah, kind of like I'm, get stiff he's very relaxed and you know he's trying to find ways to get up or better his position yeah that's um, one right. thing bro like i i feel like i'm all right i'm like i'm cool with being on the ground you know mm-hmm. like if we're on the ground and all right i'm gonna be down here for a little bit so i'm gonna I'm gonna hit you. Be comfortable. Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna get comfortable yeah. and I'm gonna hit breathe, you a couple bro. times. I yeah, breathe. Dude. I learned how to breathe. That before, like when I first started going to fight ready, I would freak out when I get to the ground. You mm. know what I mean? Because I don't know what the fuck to do. And I want to start going fucking hard as fuck, you know? Yeah. But you can't kind of black that. out a bit. Yeah. You mentioned something um, to me after the last fight when you won the championship, when you clinched him up. Oh, he, yeah. He, he's I'll too, be breathing. Hey, he, that's a secret, bro. You can't yeah. tell it. No, 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 you know no, what? No. Never no, mind. Do that. Yeah, Afterwards, yeah, yeah. I'll tell you guys after. Yeah, but yeah, it was yeah. now. I'm curious. Yeah. When he said that, like, I was like, that That's probably a... would one throw the person off, but also as well, like, they like that would help calm him down. You know what I mean? His breathing, bro. That's. That's all I gotta say about that. Yeah. Breathing is really important. Just yeah. Wim Hof. And, Do you practice yeah, breathing? Wim, like, yeah, like when I would get, when I get to the ground or something, I'll just start taking deep breaths. You know what I mean? Relax. Start. Is it, down your mind, is you it something I mean? that you work on like throughout the day outside of fighting? Like, do you have like a time that you meditate and stuff during the morning, um, and night, something like that? Not you really, practice bro. or do you just figure it out? I mean, probably when I smoke, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you know? I feel like that's real. That's, like, yeah, I breathe in, breathe yeah, out. Because <laughs> you know, I feel like I'll sit down, chief a little bit, and relax, you know? Yeah, dude. Like, start thinking about just about and, everything. And you just kind of peace, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause you got to sit down and do it. So, well, there's some to that too, especially like when you're at the gym and start breathing. Like I noticed that, um, my heart, the hardest thing that was, I always have had was running. I could never run for shit. Yeah. But then as I ran, I actually love to run now cause I figured out how to breathe and stay under control and yeah. not get out of the rhythm of it and just be able to flow with it. Yeah. It's and, real, real, yeah. real important, bro. Yeah. Like you find, if you can calm yourself, just, You'll do it by breathing. You know what I mean? You just take deep breaths. Automatically, you start doing it, bro. One time I had, like, an, like the first, the only anxiety attack I ever had, bro, was, like, in the middle of hitting the bags, bro. I started oh, freaking really? out. Yeah, I started freaking out, bro. It was after, I think it was after a fight. I don't know, but it was earlier this year, bro. And I started <laughs> freaking out, bro. I, I you told me. Yeah, I told you. Yeah, I, I, like, yeah. Yeah, I, I, I was, was there. freaking out, bro. I, like, called some of my homies and everything, bro. I was like, dude, I'm fucking, like. I'm freaking out, bro. I don't know. Like, I just got real bad anxiety, and that's yeah. never happened to me before. Damn. You know? I think, like, with, like, the baby coming up and then, like, the title fight and, like, mm. everything coming up, you know, kind of just got too much, you know? But Dang, it was just dude. hella weird that in the middle of, like, the, the thing bad. that, yeah, yeah, the thing that calms me down, the thing that I enjoy the most that relaxes me that, like, I'm so focused <laughs> when I do it, that's when it hit me, you know what I mean? Yeah. And, but, like, same thing. I kind of just... Dropped everything I was doing. I went outside. I went outside. I started taking big deep breaths, bro. And I was like, it's just like in a fight, bro. Because before a fight, you got a million things going through your head. You know what I mean? You're freaking out. Yeah. I don't care what nobody says, bro. Whether it's small or big, bro, you're freaking out. Yeah. And so just started taking deep breaths and calm down, bro. And I mean, it's you realize it, bro. Yeah. Like, yeah. Breathing how like breathing yeah. will calm everything. How much do you channel like your your younger days of fighting? Like when you fight and like how much does that help ease some of the uh the nerves? Like uh, like it feels like you've been there, done that, but like in a yeah. way more You've been in, doing it. <laughs> like yeah. in a way more gritty version. Yeah, like this is fancy now. <laughs> it's real different, bro. It's cause I like cause when you fight in the street, bro, like you're fighting you're different. just going off. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. You gotta kinda like in training you're you're not trying to fuck each other up, you know, you're trying to get better. Right. But then like once the actual fight comes up, it's hard to figure out too, bro, because I've had fights that I went in there and like I I didn't fight the way that I that I fight, you know what I mean? Cuz I was fighting like too focused on my opponent what he was going to do, you know what I mean? Couldn't instead of Yeah, and like yeah, exactly, instead of doing like Gave instead of fighting respect. how I like to fight. Yeah, you know what I mean? So but that's probably part of the learning experience though with it and just having to just that's with when you have those guys that have 20 plus fights that's where that experience i'm yeah. sure comes yeah. into play how much of a role do you play just having such a positive attitude are you 
kind of the morale guy a bit? Like we've been kind of asking that with guys. So uh, I, I mean, I would think so, right? Like the way I view it, like I'm gonna let's say when we go into like this fight in October, right. I'm gonna have John. 100%. He's going to coach or, you know, if, it, if it's going to be John or Randy or one of the guys that the teams that we spar with, uh, Paul McGallan, shout out to him or shout Jason Paul Green, McGowan, uh, yeah. shout, shout out to those guys. Um, you know, I'm going to let them like corner Jerry. I'm just going to be the guy that, you know, yeah, no, like, Hector's there. Like Hector's there when for everything else. You know what I mean? Yeah. Hector's there when I'm, when you have sprint, that anxiety yeah, attack. Like, yeah, yeah. When I'm freaking doing sprints, throwing up at the park, bro. When I'm, Going away and like dying, you know what I mean? Like throughout throughout the whole process, that like you don't have everybody else there. Like that's when you need people like Hector. You know what I mean? That yeah. just got your back, hundred percent. Dude, that is so cool. Yeah, it's so important dope. to have. Yeah, I mean, it's it's like when you have that kind of support system, it makes you feel like you can really do anything. Uh, and it makes you feel like you kind of have to do anything. Yeah, right? exactly. I mean, like, bro. You can't. You just can't. It's the behind the scenes, right? You right. Know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. That people don't see. Yeah, yeah. because that, that's part of the hardest. I mean, that's I've never had to cut weight, but cutting weight's got to be miserable, man. And yeah. and that's gonna be the worst experience to have you there to like. It's crazy. Pull you through it. I won't eat. Like. Oh, you, you go through it with them? Yeah. Like yeah. I just won't. I just won't eat. Like. Fuck, man. Uh, well, my take... weight cuts aren't even bad, yeah. anyways. But. I'm probably struggling more. <laughs> 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 oh, He's like, all right, dude, I only got 10 pounds to go. You're like, yeah. dude, I dropped 30. Yeah. <laughs> are oh, we like, on the same? Are we on the same bro, time? But it helps. <laughs> <laughs> but it helps, bro. Yeah. It's uh, good, man. It's good to have a good, close team, dude. Yeah. No, everybody at the gym, bro. It's, everybody at the gym is awesome. Yeah. I love everybody there, bro. And it, like, it sucks not being able to be there as much as I want to be there. Right. You know what I mean? And like, you know, people believe in you and like, you don't want to let them down, but like, there's so much stuff that you got to do. Yeah. yeah. You just got to deal with your day. Yeah. Like, you know, like I said, like behind shit. the scenes, you know what I mean? Like everyone sees the, like the glory and the, you know, you winning, but like when no one sees how you get there, you know, no one sees the, like the nights where maybe you, you know, you're sleepless or, you know, your, your son's had a bad day or you've had a bad day and you have to figure out how to deal with that and then go to the gym or go perform the very, you know, you could have a bad week. No one's going to know about it. Right. And then that fight day, you have to perform like nothing, none of it matters. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because it's, it's that moment right there. Right. And you know, Dude, if I even can, still now, bro, like it's crazy, bro. I still don't feel comfortable in the ring. Like I feel, I haven't, I feel comfortable, but like I don't go off the way I do in sparring. You know what I mean? Yeah. Cause I I like doing cool like I like doing fancy stuff but yeah. in the fights it's so just like Sanchai kicks and all yeah, yeah. yeah. Cool. I yeah. love doing that stuff but like in the ring I'm not I'm not there yet you know what I mean but it'll also come, it's dude. different but all yeah exactly it'll come but also it's different because like in the ring I'm just trying to fucking destroy you bro you yeah, know? yeah. <laughs> you just that, want the win and if I get out yeah. of there and you're younger too I mean a lot of people don't want to see young people coming in and being disrespectful and you know, throwing shit that like is yeah. would be classified in a in a very traditional part of the I guess martial world. Arts. Yeah, like I just yeah. the the martial art world. Um, well, especially with Muay Thai because Muay Thai is so traditional. Yeah, yeah, yeah like play that music yeah, in exactly. the background. If yeah. you go in there though and you warm up, you get a few real good KOs like you do, and then you start throwing some spinning shit, I think. You paved the way what for yeah. some spinning shit now. <laughs> <laughs> so, yes, no, I feel well, like dude. I feel like once I once I start getting paid to do stuff, I yeah. feel like then like I'm really gonna like things. I feel like then that it's on. things will. Yeah, exactly. Like, things right click, now, dude. Yeah, things definitely click, and things definitely. Uh, what when you feel that validation, you know, it mm -hmm. helps helps take whatever you're doing to the next level because you have that confidence, you know, in yourself and. That's really all that is ever missing, I think, uh, in anybody, in any athlete. Yeah, just that self confidence. How big is the? Uh, how big is just the the Muay Thai scene in Arizona and kickboxing scene? Because I know it's not huge in America. Is it? Is which is weird, though, isn't yeah. it? Because everyone complains about when I know. fights go on the ground. Just like watching, yeah, it is. And weird. they love boxing. Yeah. I don't know why they just. But there's I think a jujitsu. But there's a jujitsu uh gym on every corner of the street it seems like yeah, yeah. that's true and yeah. then there's jiu-jitsu gym dude i feel like just 
fight scene in general here in Arizona is dope as fuck. Yeah, really well, yeah. Is. Here, we're blessed here, especially because yeah. we have all the leagues, all the fights happening right. here. I feel like yeah. every weekend there, you could pick up a fight in MMA, boxing, or kickboxing at any yeah. weekend. We, very big on boxing, though, I feel. Like oh, Arizona really? Arizona's a huge boxing state. Yeah. And I, wrestling, and wrestling, re- wrestling. Re- boxing, wrestling, mm-hmm. and uh, jiu-jitsu as well. Yeah. White Talk's pretty good, too, bro. It's freaking... Yeah. Uh, Danny Brand. Danny Brand. Yeah, yeah Danny Brand. He's got uh, some Nick national Chastain. champs, bro. Yeah. yeah. Freaking, what's it called? Uh, Seton. They yeah, Seton. They, they yeah, they're all. Bro. That's Muay Thai. They got, yeah, you know, Nick Chastain, Damian Early. Those well, guys are shit. It's really growing a lot. I mean, shit. Because well, what's the pro scene like, though, as far as like going from amateurs to pro? Do they have other pro leagues here that are more. Like say Southwest, like a Southwest pro circuit for I, not kickboxing. really. Yeah, I, 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 to be honest, I wouldn't be like I. I they got I like assume, lion like, fights. Yeah, they got yeah. Like, well, yeah. They're, oh yeah, lion like fights. Like glory, but I, I was, I'm a little ignorant on that. So yeah, like, well, I just wonder because there's like you know, uh, Iron do, Boy for MMA. I yeah, didn't know if there's there other should be, pro bro. leagues kind of like, like that. There should, if not, dude, we should start one. Yeah, we yeah. could. <laughs> Cool. Isn't about Weber boys. Weber boys are just entertaining, dude. <laughs> Little W logo on the side. It'd be dope, dude. And right in the middle, dude. <laughs> Make it like WWE 2 and have chairs like, under it and yeah. shit. Ooh, what, that? dude? What are you, you talking about now? Well, Japan was doing that for a minute. With chairs? Mixing, no, yeah, they were mixing, uh, pro, they were mixing with, pro wrestling with MMA. What was it called? Josh like, Barnett do it? Yeah, uh, Frank Shamrock and like Bass. Yes, and yeah. you, couldn't hit, you couldn't hit with close fist, so you just smacked the shit out of you, dude. Open hand. Yeah, open just hand. Uh, smack, smack. He said he, would, he learned how to stretch his hand back, so when he'd slap you, it felt like a punch. Yeah. <laughs> God, dude. Boss what a... you used to be the beast with the I feel like you'd probably strike. get rocked more. Oh, like, yeah. Honestly, if someone just... Open well, because especially you don't have to deal with like breaking your fucking hand. Yeah. yeah. But <sighs> that and the disrespect. Can you imagine? Yeah. <laughs> just someone just <laughs> straight slapping. Yeah. 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 Mad. Slaps me. It's the original Stockton slab. I was uh, I was That's talking a... to, to John, and when he spars, like I don't know if he's been hit by it. He does a double punch. Oh yeah. He's like he does a uh-huh. Hadouk and, and like he'll like double punch you. <laughs> Dude, the disrespect it like makes you want to switch gyms like dog like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. like, bro, dog, like for real. Like, I, yeah. she, like I started doing it too, bro. Like I pick up like little things that I like, I'll pick them up, bro. <laughs> and I like that. And then his little back and forth, the yeah. boom, boom. I like that. I just found the rhythm for that. Yeah. Damn, he's, dude. John, John's uh Yeah, John's my boy. Yeah, he's he really has helped like Fight Ready's program, like I don't think he gets enough credit really um, as it is. Yeah. Cause dude, he like stays from, you know, when he like starts all the way to like 10, just helping yeah, us. He you know, does. Like, I mean, have an unhealthy sleep schedule. Like we can tell by his Instagram. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You can tell yeah. when he's, when he's up and when he's in bed by when he's posting memes Yeah, and it just cannot be like, it's just not, I guess it's not, it's not that it's unhealthy, but it's just not on the same cycle or just some people don't need that much sleep to yeah. you know, true. everybody's that's different true. you know that's, that's true yeah. I'm, I'm a big night owl as well i have to yeah i have issue with it cbd drops to <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah i'm dude, not yeah. a giant sleeper yeah we're excited because we're actually uh we're having john i think uh the end of october so oh that's cool we've been yeah, talking yeah. about him quite i remember a shout out hell yeah yeah i remember uh i sparred john i sparred john before like he started training at fire ready back when really? Derek. you guys remember Derek? Derek, you know, everybody knows Derek. Yeah, what am Derek, I saying? Uh, you guys remember Flores. Flores. Oh, yeah, you know Derek. yeah, yeah, yeah. Derek. Filipino Flash. Flash. Filipino Flash. Oh, yeah, hey, yeah, he yeah, cornered yeah. me in my first Muay Thai oh, fight. Oh, really? Yeah, it was Russell yeah. and Derek. Yeah. yeah. Damn. And that, that and the day that he cornered me is the day that I met him, bro. Really? Yeah. Because he had that That's program cool. at EOC gym. Yeah, Russell, Russell and Roman. Derek, yeah. Oh. Yeah, and then right away we clicked, bro. I mean, he was like, guy. I remember he was like, I don't know. I, just, I don't really know this guy, but I think that he's going to win, bro. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and he cornered me, bro. And, oh, that was a dope. That's that's my best knockout, bro. It's my crazy because if you look yeah, at the video. Yeah. Muay Thai fight. That was you got a, a video? I, uh, I do. I think my phone's it's, dead. Yeah, it's on it's my on Instagram. Instagram. Shit. I'll um, get it, we'll get it on your yeah. Instagram after. We'll repost it to uh, it's dope, it looks yeah. It looks like a, just a clash. Like, what did he throw? Uh, he and it looked threw- like he died. <laughs> he just like sloop. Dude, he just dropped, bro. He threw um he kept circling, bro. He kept circling to the right. And then he would throw like I think he threw like a lazy kick and like a lazy like, like jab. right hand. Yeah, it was a jab because he was southpaw. I slipped, bro. 
and mine was just right down the middle, caught him nowhere, but right in the jaw, bro. Damn. He just head turned and and like, drop. Yeah, he felt like a sack of potatoes. Just like that's why it looks <laughs> like he died. Like when he's stiffen up, but he just went clump. Yeah. Dang, Third round, man. bro. I think it was like man, like two minute rounds. So it was probably like a minute. A minute into the third round, there was like a minute left in the fight. Damn. And I started seeing him just keep circling right, circling right, yeah. circling right. <laughs> Boom, bro. Got him. Yeah. Damn. That's How many awesome, rounds uh, do you have to usually fight? Uh, if it's regular time, if it's not for a belt, it's three two minute rounds. Since okay. it's, it's amateur, you know, so three two minute rounds. Okay. If it's pro, it's going to be three three minute rounds. Um, When it's title fights, you do five minute rounds. Okay. Or, I mean, not. Five rounds, you know, five oh, rounds, yeah. but two minutes or three minutes, whatever it is. Damn, dude. So you got two up and coming. Um, mm-hmm. and Hector, what are you doing? You just, I just, you know, trying to get back to health. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like I've yeah. had a, just a string of injuries, like yeah. you know, with my knee and knee then it was fucked up. Yeah, so going back, um, you know, I'm always constantly going to like Craig. If you guys know Friday Craig, I can yeah, sure, bro. yeah, dude, he's oh, he's got the best. Kicked in man. the face swiftly by him. <laughs> yeah, he's. But I like, get really good rounds in with him too. Um, he's helped me a lot, you know, with like just getting back healthy, and I feel like now, especially with how the team is and just the environment of the gym, I feel now is the perfect time to you know really take it like seriously. Yeah, and you know, I feel now that my body's like fully healed, I could go back into it because like, dude, there was times like. Like a year ago, or like two years ago, where I'd be doing jujitsu and my like back and like my shoulders were just like going numb, and like I would like Ooh. I'd be like stuck stuck in guard, and I would just like put my head on them and they'd be like, "What are you doing?" And I was like, "I can't do anything." Like it hurts so bad, yeah. and then, you know, like having that knee injury kind of just like put me out of commission. Yeah. So like now that I'm back and like I kind of have that like desire again, like I'm you know meal prepping and doing the best I possible to, to you know keep healthy which is the hardest part but you know being more consistent doing jujitsu you know on a regular basis and things like that so you yeah, know, we need to get you in a fight man. yeah like yeah i want to see hector go off bro. yeah i want to yeah. see that too. I, you know and i feel like you when, need to go off bro. yeah you need to just everyone fucking, says that like you need to just go off they're like tito you're so like your shit you're, you're so nice and like yeah and they're like i feel like if you ever get mad you're gonna probably kill someone <laughs> yeah, you're yeah, just gonna dude. bane someone and just yeah. like snap them in half yeah, yeah dude you just I want all that pen dub yeah. niceness and dude. it's probably yeah. gonna be the most little thing like someone drops my pen yeah. Yeah. Like, i've had it i want to be there for that i just don't want to be the recipient no but um no you i freak out oh, well, little by little hector's gonna be yeah, yeah. like i'm starting to feel more comfortable with like striking where i should be like you know just seeing thin once again, you know, huge shout out to John because he's been helping me extensively with privates and just, you know, focusing on each and every one of us where each time I work with him, I feel like I learned something new. And then, you know, with jujitsu, like I'm finally starting to do jujitsu to fight ready. And mm. like, I like, like, it just makes sense. Like what Paris teaches, you know, I'm just like, okay, like this is like, this is actually really good and I can use this in this right. scenario, you know. Yeah, Paris so, and Heath are great. Yeah. And I like, and I'm happy that Heath is there too because. Yeah. They're both great. He's right, cold, we gotta get man. back in there, but he's, he's really like a good coach. Like yeah. both of them together yeah. make a great team. Like it's yeah, cool. yeah, we gotta get back into jits. I I've only done it like a very very little bit, and and not. I yeah. what is it called for me? Like I used to love no gi. Like I hated wearing the gi. Now like it's kind of weird. Maybe it's I'm still kind of have that mental blockage because of my knee. I prefer. Like I really? feel, I feel personally safer, and like a lot of people were like, "Well, the grips are going to be different." I'm like, well, "Yeah." I mean, if I'm just grabbing, you know, the grip this way, you know, like hooking it, I'll just, you know, just grab the hand, and right. I still use a lot of the no gi grips in gi. Like when I, um, that's probably pass. smart. So yeah, I'll like I'll make sure that I'm not, um, just using gi grips. I'm using you know, yeah, no gi and what is called wrestling a lot. So. Yeah, yeah I like I actually like gi too more I would say too. It's cooler I think. Yeah, and then also too I think even having the ability to rank up and and yeah. have that yeah. like end goal like you're like oh shit, you know, I can get this and I just got a blue belt in a year. Now I got, you know, I get a black two years belt in 10 years, it'll be fucking dope. <laughs> <laughs> or you could be like work, bj Penn and just Hell get yeah. it on three of those, yeah. those and i know you're huge i don't want to end up like we, we can't Penn, yeah we, we we don't want to go down that path i don't want to end up like bj out hey bars yeah 
That guy was, dude, I remember I watching. PJ. Yeah, I remember watching him when I was I like too, but I'm sad about him. <laughs> Ten years old. Yeah. I was like sneaking my cousin's uh, like room as he would like have the UFC on, and I'd like, oh, who is that? I'm like, dude, he just like I remember they put on the Joe Stevenson fight, and yeah. he just murked that guy. Like within the first like second, he hit him with like Joe a Daniel. nasty combo and just started <laughs> elbowing him, and I was like, yeah. Jesus. PJ was cold. Yeah, I want to see a, a backstage brawl against uh, Connor and BJ. I always <laughs> thought like, like I think I asked. I remember I put on Facebook a long time ago like a prime BJ. Dude, versus, and, you, <laughs> and you put BJ stuck in the mud. <laughs> remember that? Dude. That's yeah, when Connor was, was at his best at 45, oh, though. Dude, was, that's when yeah, Connor was, was murking people. Dying. I told him that, dude. It was before he even knew him. Like prime BJ beating Connor at that time. Like he was. The biggest Connor, Connor fanboy, dude. Yeah, I fucking thought Connor was the shit. And uh, hey, Connor was the shit, bro. Yeah, dude. Was, was, yeah, one forty-five. Connor, best. One forty. Yeah, it was until yeah. one fifty-five, and I was like, uh, he's just regular. Was just yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, he after I think after Alvarez, because that Alvarez was pretty decisive. Yeah. yeah. But I think it was after like Mendez or something. Like I want to see, I want to see a prime BJ, and I was like, fucking prime BJ. <laughs> he's all getting beat up by Frankie Edgar. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> But no, I think that I think to this day, like that style, like because BJ has really good boxing. Yeah, man. he does. He, he does. Has, he's like, prime, like he trained with Freddie Roach, and like you know, like you can hear interviews where Freddie Roach talks about like how fast he is, and you know, Jason Perillo, once again, like he's a great boxing coach. Yeah, man. Jason Perillo's a beast. Hawaiian, bro. Hawaiian's yeah, been fucking making that. Yeah, bro, that's look true. up YouTube and Max just put Holloway. Hawaiian fights. They're like fighting every day. Yeah. You know what I mean? They're little scrappers. Yeah, those they guys. scrap, dog. It down yeah like yeah. they're good at jujitsu they're good at like they just that's all they do on that yeah they probably just have nothing they to just do wolf yeah. ass, dude they surf. wolf ass eat good food yeah. and, and surf and surf yeah ike yeah. max holloway yeah a beast. <laughs> i actually think like when he does transition from MMA, that style like his i style see that is, i just like, feel like, like tony ferguson yeah. max holloway that that like long uh, lengthy guys that have this like good like pop boxing you know what i mean with those kicks yeah, that's what about I see. Time, yeah. yeah, it's about time, wrap it up. You guys got to get to train too, huh? Yeah. Um. Sure all right. Can. Well, we uh we really appreciate you guys. Yeah, we're starting to abruptly. Thanks I mean, for having we're, us. We're uh yeah we'll uh we'll do the second part of this too to uh everything. But yeah, we appreciate you guys. I'm not I'll use like five decks to rank each my two. If I had to wrap up underneath, I'd be like five decks. <laughs> It's going to be awkward. <laughs>
follow up with the kick. Something I, that I like to do after the kick, turn this right here. So when it's ready for whatever. So, right here, go here, here, and then there you go. Bring that up. Yeah. So, get that leg out there. Yeah. Push them out. Yeah, because you want to already win. Yeah. They come back and swing it back. Right. He's not stuck in the mud. <laughs> Get that leg. Push, push. Hey, there you go. Power beam. Push, push. Boom, there you that go. Mexican I gotta keep that fucking leg up. You're all funny, huh? That works. It's, it's hard. weird. It's weird. So I'm gonna try to hide. Boom. Yep. And then here. Here, there you go. There you go. Pop him down. I want to put that in the yeah. Strong with that chest. Right. Right. There you go. One more time. Boom. 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 There you go. One more. There you go. Nice. We got a couple. Boom. 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 There you go. Boom. 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 I was good. All right. Feel good? I was good. This, uh, this next one, it's a little bit more uh, tricky, a little bit more flashy. This one, you gotta be, get real comfortable to do it. It's um, Senchai, dude from Thailand. He's like 30, yeah, 38, 40 years old. He fights like every three months or so. Badass dude. So I'm straight from him. So everybody knows the straight teeth. This, this, very common. So what you do, you bring up your leg, you kind of just wiggle it a little bit, throw them off. You know, you don't know, they don't know where you're going with this. So you, this, and then you sneak it in there. This, and after a little bit, you can switch it up, switch the levels on it. Throw it, hold it low. You're gonna hold it low, and then it's gonna go high. Yeah. Cool. Push, push. You gotta be quick with that one. Push, push. Same thing. You're gonna, wanna, you're gonna wanna bring the leg back. Hold it right here. Ready to go again. So I can. Push, 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 push. Again. Leave it out there. Trying to get a try? I'm kind of nervous. Zach fucking predicts these things. <laughs> they don't move like Zach moves. It's a weird one, bro. It's a weird one for sure. So let's go ahead and have a seat first. Loose with your hands. Oh, no. Yeah. Go. Just get a couple in, warm up. Get that seat first. Boom. Yep. Powerful. Boom. There you go. Boom. Bring it up and leave it up there. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. There you go. Imagine it's, seeing it. Yeah, I know. I'd be like, what's he doing? I'd be like, what the hell is that? Yeah. Bro? <laughs> Especially how guys try to time just like, try to suck the way. Yeah. Yeah, hey, if you can't time do the other one, boom. Yeah. It's a little skip, bro. It's just a little skip. Are you doing a front or are you doing the other way? You're gonna have to do it this way. You're gonna go boom, tap it on this side, you know, with the other one. Oh, okay. You're gonna go boom, and then bring it down, and then boom. Oh, okay. Like a switch. Yeah. So put your other leg forward. Yeah, yeah you can do it inside. Hey! 
the outside. Yeah. yeah. And you had to win the outside. Yeah. Oh, same way. Same way. Good touch. Sweet. Boom. Boom. You get that angle. Come on. Boom. The same thing you can. Okay. Right there. Yeah. You see it? So you're just kind of moving that? Yeah. Yeah. Going with that. Right. Yeah. Loose with uh, your hips. Yeah. So just follow the hips. Yeah. Put that front line. So we're gonna just warm up with a couple of teeth. Get kind of get the, the feel for it. Ooh. There you go. Ah. Oh, I'm tired. That was not nice. Was it? No. Okay. There you go. Oh, that was nice. Bring me up and then back. There you go. There you go, that was good. So you're gonna bring your leg up. Can you bring it up? Boom. Just a little yeah. And you're gonna push. Yeah! Alright. Do it on your head? Yeah. Loose on your head. Boom! Yeah. Oh strong. Come in a little bit next to when you touch it. Yeah, yeah. One strong head. Oh! That's weird, right? It is weird, dude. That's good. Do you want to try the little kick? Yeah, we can try. Okay. Alright, where, uh, where do I go with this one? So it's here. Here, and then push. Yeah, outside? Yeah. After you hit this, boom, leave it, leave your knee up, from there, turn. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, you oh, hit yeah. it? Ah, yeah, yeah. It, it's gonna take some practice. Oh, huh? dude, that's some Bruce Lee shit, you dude. It, huh? I can see it in your eyes, though, dog. Let me get it. You're gonna get it. You'll feel it. Watch. Boom. Boom. Oh, oh! oh. Yeah! yeah. 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 Woo! <laughs> <Woo -hoo. laughs> I didn't do it the way down. <laughs> Alright, so. Here. Here. Oh, almost. Yeah. Almost. He's southpaw. Oh, he's southpaw, so he's gotta go. Yeah, I knew it was a me. You gotta go. Boom. And then. And then. Boom, boom. Yeah. You gotta go. Boom, boom. And then from there. Oh, okay. oh yeah. So you add right at. Bring you, it right in. Okay. If he's gonna be orthodox, and you're southpaw, you're gonna get him on the inside. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? Boom, boom, boom. And then to the outside. So he's gonna go boom, boom, boom. You know what I mean? Okay. Staying out with it off. Yeah. So go inside, you're outside, you're leave it out there and pull it. And then you go inside. Yeah. 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 One more. One right. more. That's we'll me. go, we'll do another. Hey. God, dude, let me get one more. That was <laughs> easier and all easy and shit. Alright. Yeah. That was easy, dude. I got that one easy. Yeah. Good down. Mexican Muay Thai. Mexican Good shit. Muay Thai, Mexican bro. Muay Thai. Can we be honorary Mexican, dude? <laughs> I fucking just deemed you, dog. Yes, dude. That was it. You've been deemed. Yes. Thank God, dude. I think we're bad. I think puro we're Sonora bad. y puro Jalisco. Puro Chihuahua. Eso es todo, mitos. Hey, uh, that sounds dope. <laughs> All right. Appreciate you guys, bro. We appreciate, yeah, we appreciate you. you. Thank you, guys. Thank really, you for really you. It's been a lot of fun. We uh, we had a lot of fun this episode. Um, why don't you guys give us your Instagram and shit? Yeah, I don't yeah. think we did that earlier. 
What's your, no, uh, what's your handles? Mine's uh, chill from 93 till, like the song, underscore yeah. before and after. And then mine is Tito underscore Madrigal 96. They'll tag us. Yeah, <laughs> we'll tag you. They'll tag yeah. us. But, uh, but yeah. Um, all right, guys. It's officially been awkward. Have a good week. Yeah, thank, thank you. Guys. Peace. It's gonna be awkward. <laughs>